Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. So today I'm doing a shoe review. I've never done a shoe review before, but I watch a lot of reviews on shoes, clothes, bags, anything like that. As you can tell by my thumbnail, I'm doing a review on these Toga Pula Black Sabat or Sabbat. I'm going to assume it's Sabat loafers. They look like this. It says Toga Pula on the sole. And they have these really cool chrome gems on it. Really cool. They like gibbet. This is the shoe. I don't want to touch the bottom because I have worn these a few times. I've worn these probably, I want to say like five, six times. So the first thing I'm going to talk about regarding the shoe is the price. So these retail for $425, but I got them for... 336 on essence so if you don't know about essence i definitely 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 100 percent 100 percent recommend you use my voice not my voice cracking i really do like essence especially especially when they have their sales and i believe they have their sales like four times a year each season when i tell you their sales are like the best thing ever their sales are actually sales and shoes i typically wear a seven and a half and an eight so anything seven and a half or eight depending on the shoe of course I'm able to wear I typically if I can I really do like to go for seven and a half when it comes to like any shoe but if I read reviews and they say that it fits large or fits small or it's true to size then I kind of base what size I choose from that I didn't actually see many reviews on the shoe that's why I wanted to do this review because Whenever I wear these shoes, I get so many questions about these shoes. The size is perfect, but if you have wide feet, and I have wide feet, these shoes hurt a little bit. They look comfortable because they're mules, and they typically are comfortable, but if you're walking long distances or if you're walking a lot, I would not recommend wearing these. If you're doing something really chill, like going over a friend's house, doing like a really chill thing that doesn't involve a lot of walking, then these are cool. But... This is why I say these aren't really for wide feet girls. Of course, I'm a wide foot girl and I still wear these. This right here is very narrow. So my feet, like the size of my feet are literally resting on it and it's hard. So it makes it really uncomfortable to walk long distances. All the reviews I watched on this didn't mention this. Because I don't think this is really an issue. Like wide feet, I don't think that's really an issue for a lot of people when it comes to shoes. But it's an issue for me. So, and if you're watching this and it's an issue for you... I'm here for you. I'm telling you that this part really makes it uncomfortable. But other than that, I really do like it. Like, I wore it one time and I was walking way too much. By the end of the day, my feet were my feet were done. But then I wore them again to a friend's house. They were fine. They were comfortable. Extremely comfortable. Yeah, so it just really depends on how you wear it, where you wear it. I wouldn't recommend wearing them with socks. I don't know. It's just a personal preference. If you wear socks... It just gets really slippery and it's just like you kind of have to like use your toes to grip <laughs> to grip your foot in it if that makes sense another reason why i like these is because you can dress these up and down they're like clogs they're like loafers so you can really dress these up and down you can dress them with sweats in a t-shirt and you still kind of look put together because it's like the shoes they're the shoes are the show. The shoes are the statement. They're the moment. If you know anything about the brand Toga Pula, they're really into accessorizing their shoes. Some of them aren't to this degree, but they're really into like the buckles and the silver. I want to say they're worth the money, but I once again, I didn't pay full price for them. But I, I honestly would pay full price for these because these are just fine. They're really unique. There's no other shoe like this. They're really cool. And yeah, that's the end of my review. That's the end of my video. If you have any questions about the shoe, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!